Kamala Harris is well known as President Joe Biden's vice president, uh, and her background is really unlike any other person to ever hold this role. Uh, she is the first woman, the first black person, the first person of South Asian descent to be vice president. And she traces her roots back to Northern California, uh, where she was born to a father who's from Jamaica and a mother from India. And she has a younger sister as well. Um, she grew up in a, a time period where there's a lot of civil rights activism. And she talks often about going to marches or rallies in strollers with her family. And really, talk, that's a very formative part of her upbringing. Harris went to college at Howard University in Washington, D.C., one of the country's most famous historically Black colleges. Uh, from there, she went to law school back in California and surprised a lot of members of her family by deciding to become a prosecutor. She worked in San Francisco and then decided to run for a district attorney in San Francisco, uh, which was really the start of her political career. After serving as district attorney, she became California State Attorney General. And then when a U.S. Senate seat opened up, she ran for the U.S. Senate. Uh, she was elected the same year that Donald Trump became president and was quickly thrust into uh, a very contentious environment on Capitol Hill, uh, where she played a leading role in questioning and examining Trump uh, administration officials and policies. Harris decided to run for president in 2020, but she didn't make it to the early primary states because her campaign faltered early on, and she ultimately became Joe Biden's running mate. After becoming vice president, Harris worked on migration issues, focusing on Central American countries that sent a lot of migrants to the United States. She also worked on voting rights, gun control, uh, and then after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, uh, she's really focused on advocating for abortion rights across the country as well. Not only is Harris the first woman vice president, her husband, Doug Emhoff, is the first second gentleman of the United States. They uh, married several years ago, and Emhoff has two children of his own from a previous marriage, and they still have a home in Los Angeles and live in D.C.